Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls from around the world. It's Relic and 1.3 is out. 1.3 is out. Ah! Uh, yes, 1.3 is out. So that means we are going to check on some things first. I do just want to note that if you look at the Y coordinate, uh, it tells you what your feet position is and it tells you what your eye position is, which I think is really cool. Um, let's see, what else is new? Um, got a couple new stats on there as well as everything seems to be running okay for me uh, too. Oh, and also the memory usages. Uh, they redid something, so it uses quite a bit less, actually, so that's, that's a plus. I did change my house up just a little since the last time we saw it, um, so let's go in and see what's that up. That's all about. I can turn the F3 off, so let us go in. All right, been clearing up, and here's what I wanted to point out, that the mine's right back there. I might change this, might not. Uh, chests are right here as well, so I gotta figure out what I'm doing with, uh, all that. But anyways, if we head on downstairs, everything seems to be, uh, just about the same, but there is some things I do have to do, like, stack the buckets! Hooray! Buckets finally stack. Unfortunately, beds still do not. Uh, signs stack. So... Buckets and signs stack. Uh, these golden apples should be the old golden apples. Uh, let's see. Gravel has its new texture. We'll go over that when we go outside. Uh, saddles do not stack, unfortunately. Uh, let's see. Anything else in here that's changed? Mm, I do not believe so. So... Uh, glowstone. Uh, do, do, do. These wooden slabs are the only non-burnable wooden slabs I have, so I need to use them with uh, extreme care. So, you gotta keep that in mind. I wanted to make a chest full of them and completely forgot because uh, I wasn't thinking and I was just so excited to update, so... I'm missing, missing gravel. There we go. Uh, full cobble. All that good stuff. But what we're going to do today is be doing a lot of... Uh, I have dirt in my inventory. Correct. Okay. We're going to be doing a lot of just tidying up the town. Getting stuff ready. So that means I need a little bit more of this. Uh, getting that done. We're going to make... Uh, different colored half slabs and stairs. Uh, I'll take the bench just in case. As well as we're going to make some... Where is it? Where is it? There they are. Sandstone stairs. Took forever to get these, but we finally have them. And they act just like normal stairs. You can put them in any place that you want to. Uh, for example, if you want upside down, you can place them upside down. And, uh, I just realized that before this update happened, I'm almost halfway to level, uh, 30, so that's kind of cool. Alright, anyways, let's go, let's go tidy up the place, because I really want to experiment with the, uh, the sideways logs, first and foremost. This is something I, uh... I did just to see how that would look, and I actually do like the uh, the kind of rafter look. But let's just see how the sideway logs look here. Let's see, get those there. Let's gonna place it like that. Let's see how does this work. Do I need to be? Uh, I put all my dirt away, of course. Let's see, does this have to be... Yes, this has... Okay, I see how this works. So it's kind of like a piston. You gotta... You gotta place it how you want it. So... There we are. Line that up. 
Ooh, I, li I like the way that looks. That, that is pretty cool. So, we're gonna just do the same thing over here. And I'm going to hop on up there. Oh, hello. The lag is a little bit... I mean, I can feel it. I feel like I am playing on a multiplayer server now, so... I That's the only thing I, I'm not necessarily a huge, huge fan of compared to the uh, to the smoothness that a single player is, but I'm sure that's going to get better over time. Um, I have complete faith in uh, Mojang to fix stuff like that, so let's just see how, you know, comparatively something like this would look. And then we'll go... And I'll probably go back and change all these in my own free time. Um, or maybe not. Maybe I'll just leave them. Hmm. I definitely do like the fact that it's sideways better, but the way it meets up with the new log, I'm not necessarily a fan of. Hmm. Interesting. But regardless, I do like it. Um, we're not gonna, I'm not gonna go through and change every single one of them. Um, but there are a couple things I do want to check to make sure they still work. Books now require a piece of leather, which means the cow farm is going to be the next immediate thing to get done. Um, let's check to see if the bread machine still works. I only needed one. And actually, I need a seed instead of a bone meal. We can drop that back off. And the bread machine is now broken. So, this is unfortunate, but stuff like this does happen. We'll have to go back and uh, either create a, a new farm or um, just take it really, really slow when using the bread machine. So, I'm not really angry about this. It was good while it lasted. Um, I still have plenty of loaves of bread for when it was working properly. Uh, so, I'm not mad. Stuff like this just happens, so. Let us grab the, the good old meal. Store away the seeds. Store away the extra seeds. And let us hop over the counter. Come on, hop. And make us some bread. And we'll store the extra wheat in this one. Excellent. And now we can get rid of these and change them with the proper sideways logs. Aha! I'm so happy. This is probably my absolute favorite change that they did. A little bit picky though. Uh, let's see, I'm messing up here pretty badly. And pop, pop. There we are. I need to get out of the way. And of course, that goes like that. So let's see. I'm all over the place today, but that's fine. I am so excited. 1.3 is officially out, so I could have used the snapshots, but I always like waiting for the. Yeah, it looks so much better than this. Um, I like officially waiting for the stuff to come out. So, hooray! Now that means all these reads can be removed as well. So, because I'm not going to be gathering the material like I was for books anymore, the automated uh, read farm that we have should work just fine. I gotta go check to see if that works yet, too. But I don't see why that shouldn't. That's just real simple redstone that uh, isn't really a complex. Uh, design, so 
And come to think of it, what I could do with the bread machine is probably just slow it down so it's not the ultra fast version of uh of it, so and that might help. There we are. And we got 57 out of that, not bad. Let's go check on the good old reed farm. And first, let's check on the pumpkin. Okay, so that still works. Cool. Just wanted to make sure that that was still all good. There we are. And popping on down here. We're not going to harvest too much, but everything still seems to work just fine. So that's, that is excellent. Now we got plenty more melon to eat, unfortunately. There we are. And just checking to see if anything... Piston is out. I can't. That's pretty weird. Okay then. We'll just not worry about that. Hopefully that's just a, a minor glitch. And they will fix that in the near future. Now I wish I had villagers here, but unfortunately I don't. Um, because, as you can see, the old recipe for books don't work. So what this means is my reed farm I can use to easily uh, trade uh, paper to them <clears throat> to get emerald ore. Or, not not just emeralds, but uh, you know, other stuff I may need. So, in the next few episodes, I think we're going to go out village hunting again... Regardless of how long that might take me, um, we'll go do it. So, all right, let us check to see how the dark, the dark wood stairs look. And let's just go all board, all out. So, there we are. Get rid of some of these nether brick. Hmm, I actually like that quite a bit. Now I can do some really cool uh, floor designs with this too. So I, I'm enjoying this change quite a bit. It's a uh, it's a bit smoother of a transition from the uh, the wood to the other wood, which I like. This is this is pretty harsh. So. The chairs I might leave, but the these definitely are going to get switched, so not only that, I can go and make half slabs for these corners, so we'll check that out. Yep, see? Half slabs look pretty cool. Yes, I, I like that quite a bit. So... I really do like the way that looks compared to the way this looks. So, if you guys have any thoughts, opinions on this, just please leave a message in the comments below. Um, I'm going to be doing some floor design with the uh, dark wood and whatnot uh, in this area. So, don't worry if you guys like the like darker colors or anything. There's going to be still something going on here. Um, what I do need to do is go out and find some birch wood eventually to uh get some real light wood as well but that also means i can uh now vary the roof color if i want like a dark roof i can easily do a dark roof just with having only the uh the spruce wood i guess now they're calling it so um which is fine with me so let's 
spruce wood. Huh. So I assume that every, one, every, every type of log got a new, new name, so that's kind of cool. I know for a while this was called like cherry wood, pine, dark wood, all sorts of different things they have, people were calling it. Let's see, spruce, oak saplings, jungle saplings. Okay. And like I said, I don't have any of the, uh, whatever you want to call it. The good old uh, birch. I, I hope it's birch. The white, the white logs. So they might have changed that name too, but I'm pretty sure it's birch. And now we're gonna go down to the good old um, skeleton farm. See how long that takes to level us up. Uh, see if everything's still working properly. Hopefully it is. And maybe we'll hit just a brief portion of the uh, strip mine just so we can gather a little bit of XP from the ores and see how that works out. Ah, yes. Push the button. So far though, the, the leg doesn't seem to be so bad. One thing I do want to do is go out and pick a fight with a creeper. Here's a piece of ore. That's weird. I'm not used to that. Ugh. This feels wrong getting XP from this. <laughs> but yet, I, I I like that they did this. It's not supposed to. It's not anything big, but I did level up from it. I'm going to level up again. Oh, I should probably look to see where I'm going. But yes, you get, you do not get XP from iron. Because you, I assume it's because you get it when you smelt it. Um, which makes sense, so. What about redstone? I just want to make sure that there's no, like, lava under here. Okay, you get quite a bit more redstone, or... Uh, uh, XP from redstone. So, get some more coal. It's not a great way to level up, but like I said, that anything, that little extra that you get, still quite a bit, is quite nice. So, let's get out the, uh, oh, no, 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 oh, that no, too. If you guys didn't notice, I actually took damage from inside the wall. Um. Which isn't good. So. When the water pushed me in, it pushed me into the wall. That's a kind of an SMP glitch. So that's something we're going to have to keep an eye out for to see if that gets any better or worse over time. Um, let's see, what else is there? We gotta get to the... Got to get to the Skedley Farm. I'm still 50-50 if I like this gravel texture. It does go better with the stone cobble, but... I don't know. I just don't know how I feel about it. Let us... Maybe we'll do a level 30 enchant, so... Hopefully when a Skelly gets here, uh, we can see how fast this goes. So... Guys, I will be right back. I'm going to let this thing fill up with a couple skeletons, and then uh, we shall get to killing. All right, be right back. All right, guys, I am back, and there are approximately, I think, I don't know, 30? Yeah, it looks like 31 uh, skeletons in here, 32. But uh, while we're doing that, I was just going to show you the smelting. Um... As you can see, the uh, furnace is cooking, and I believe once this is done, you get the XP once you pick it up. Just, uh, and that's because you once you take it out, you can't actually put anything back in this spot, so I think that's how they did it. Um, so, let's see. Yep, that is correct. So, let's see. I don't think you get it from anything else other than ores cooking. Uh, we could check. Let's see. Um, 
Do we get it from charcoal? I don't think so, but... In the meantime, let us kill some skeletons, see where this gets us. Oh, glorious XP. This... I have a feeling, though, now that the 1.3 patch has come up, all you really need is either a skeleton, zombie spawner, you only need one of them, so just pick the one that's closest to the surface, or actually the most convenient for you, and just use that. Uh, e heck, even a spider farm probably would do. Um, that was only about 35 skeletons, and granted, I was I was up to uh, a high level one, a higher level when we started, but uh, it really didn't take all that much XP to get me to uh, level 24. Yeah, no XP from charcoal, so... Uh, let's see, do I have a stick? No, I don't. I only need one of those. Make a stick. Just get this out of my inventory. Make some torches. Make some torches. And there we go. So, yes, um... Yeah, I'm going to stick around here, get level 30, and then when I have done that, I shall see you guys up at the surface, and we shall start uh, doing some other stuff, and definitely get that enchant, so uh, I'm probably going to do it on a new pick, seeing how mine is pretty much uh, gone, so I shall be back, guys. Alright guys, I'm back, and I'm level 30. It did not take long at all. This new enchanting system is pretty awesome. Um, I need to make sticks first. We got our three diamonds ready for that good old uh, making pickaxes. So let us get the pickaxe, and then we'll just make torches out of the remaining coal uh, sticks. And let's see how this is going to work. Um, we need torches, though, to probably block off, because I don't think... Oh. Interesting. So, apparently, I can just leave all these bookshelves up if I want to get an exact level 30. So, it's pretty cool. I don't have to waste too much time getting it. So, let's see how this uh, new enchanting system works. So, come on, big money. Yeah, garbage. But, that's fine. Um, that is quite fine. It doesn't take very long to get a uh, a good high level. So, let us go down and check on these slimes. That, in a way, kind of scares me just because... That fall, I should say, just because it's SMP. Uh, no slimes down here, so that is fine. We shall go back up. I still need to continue lighting up said cave and doing all that good stuff. But there's one last thing I want to do before I call it a day today. And that is... Dun -dun -dun -dun. Grab a book. Grab an ink sack. And grab a feather. We are going to write a nice little novel. Um, I'm not exactly sure. Oh, pen and quill. Exactly. There we go. So, page one of one. Uh, let's see. Uh, what do we want to write? No. And it works just like a sign, it looks like, so that's cool. Uh, Relic Gaming. Follow me on Twitter. At Relic Gaming. Follow me on Facebook now. I got a new Facebook. 
uh, page. So that's at um, www.facebook.com slash relic gaming. So keep that in mind, guys. Uh, I did just recently put that up. All my videos have been uploaded to there. If you want to interact with me, that's probably the fastest way besides YouTube to do it right now. Um, I know once, like, if I get more followers and whatnot, uh, Facebook's probably going to be the easiest way to contact me. If you guys have any more uh, questions or concerns, leave them in the comments. And thanks for watching, guys. As well as go watch the walking dead it's a pretty good series uh definitely go watch it uh and that'll finish it guys so if we read this now and then we'll sign it author enter book title relic gaming present oh i can't so you get limited characters so Sign and close. Now if we read this, Relic Gaming, follow me on Twitter, next page, thank you, leave comments, and go watch The Walking Dead. Seriously, go watch it. It is a great series, so, um, guys, this is Relic with Relic Gaming, and I'm out of here.